Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and today we're unboxing DC Superhero Girls. This is Hawk Girl. Now, I've been known that I knew that she was coming out for a while. I think she came out last year, or maybe the summer before. I'm not entirely sure, but she never showed up on our store shelves. I don't know if she was an online exclusive. Um, I don't really know. Um, there's a couple of things I love about her and a couple of things I don't like love about her, and I'll go over those later when we unbox her. Um, the box itself, speaking of, is very damaged. Uh, she was squashed in, um, I think an envelope, or, no, she was, she was sent to me from Amazon, and she was, her box is completely damaged. Uh, thank goodness that this was one of the, uh, one of the dolls that I do unbox, so I don't display them in the boxes. Um... So I'm not super super mad. I just I'm just I'm just hopeful that nothing inside of there inside that I do like to keep is damaged. Um, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox her and well let's just see um, if like let's check out her box first. So we have this little image here of Supergirl. Uh, no, of Wonder Woman. I don't know what that's about. Um, we have Hot Girl running here. Um, with her wings. And then we have some cartoon art in the back for Hawk Girl. Um, there is not her, in, she's not even in there. And uh, she's right there, I think. So um, there's nothing to be said on here. So without that being said, we're just gonna unbox her, I guess. I thought maybe there might be a bio on here or something. So I do have her out of her box. One thing I noticed right off the bat is that she doesn't have an, a student ID like the rest of them did. Now, I stopped collecting them after Series 1 because they got a little bit monotonous with the repeat, with the repeat of characters. But I did want the new characters, so I got these from Amazon. Like I said, they've probably been out for a while, but I couldn't find them in our local stores. And I finally just gave in and bought them online. But I'm going to get her wings attached. They come um, attached with elastics onto her arms. The, and they're backwards, so let me just fix that. All right, I'm sure she does. I'm having a little bit hard time doing it, but one of their big things were that they were able to, they're usually able to, because of the way their feet are sculpted, they're in their shoes, they're supposed to be able to stand on their own. She's a little bit wobbly. I think she might be just a little top heavy with her, with her wings, but that's okay. So uh, let's just start with the top of her. Um, the top, her hair is a, I guess, medium brown, and she has um, some gold streaks in the front, if you can see that behind her glasses that are gold as well. They're tucked up into her hair and um, tied into her ha head with an elastic. I'm not going to pull those off because I am a collector, and I, I fear I might not be able to get them back on her head. Um, her eyebrows do match her hair color, so they're that medium brown. She has some pretty green hazel eyes um, and some really, really light um, almost invisible pink eyeshadow, and then she's got, like, a watermelon pink lips that are closed, and she's got a little bit of cheek blushing. She also has a darker complexion, not quite as dark as Bumblebee, uh, but somewhere in the middle between Bumblebee and the light complexion. The next part I want to tell you about, I'm not really, I don't really understand why. Um, okay, so her, she, her torso here is molded yellow. There's no, absolutely no detail. It's just yellow. And it goes all the way up to her neck. All the way up to her neck. So I want to believe that it's like a a turtleneck t-shirt, uh, a turtleneck sleeveless, but that doesn't make sense. I just don't, I just, I don't understand why they couldn't have just at least tried to match the paint on the neck with this, with her arms. Or, you know, I don't know. Or, had this be the base color and then just painted her chest it just i don't know it just doesn't look good it doesn't look right it looks wrong it just doesn't seem right she's kind of like robotic in the middle of her neck <sighs> it bothers me but um, i'm gonna get over it i'm going to <laughs> so she also has this this chest plate uh, i guess you want to call it that um is a pliable plastic rubbery color that seems to be, um, yeah, that's, that's tied on with elastics too, so I don't want to pull, be messing with that or pull that off. Her wings are detachable, so, um, I, I popped them in a little second ago, I'll show you, I'll pop them out, if it will let me pop them out, so they pop out, 
Um, and, you know, they go into her yellow midsection here. They go in really well. They pop in, they, they make this popping noise, and they pop in, and they stay. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about those, and I'm proud of those. Good design on that, Martel. Uh, she also has a squishy vinyl belt here. I guess it's supposed to be like a tool belt or a utility belt. That doesn't really fit her waist, but um, it sits there, so it doesn't fall off. And it's um, got a little bit of a rubber snap on the back that holds it there. Uh, she is wearing real pants, and her pants are actually pretty cool. Uh, they're sequinted green. They got like a scaling look to them. Um, they, they're really shimmery and nice. I forgot she also has gauntlets on. She has some gold gauntlets that match her mask that goes on the top of her head. And then she has boots here, which are questionably the same boots as um, Wonder Woman or Supergirl. But I'm going to have to check those out. I think that they might be a new mold. And they did add some paint detail in there. You can see the gold, metallic gold that goes all the way up and then into the points and goes around. So they're red with gold molding. And um, they have the slits in the back so they're easy to come off. Her, her pants aren't really pants. I guess we'll, we'll call them capris because that's what they are. Uh, it seems to be the only piece of clothing. It's kind of when Mattel started to cheap out in the superhero girls and not give you anything else. Now... To be fair, the superhero girls did have the original ones that I do have in my collection, which I maybe I'll show off to you guys one day. Um, they they did start off with both um, fabric and plastic or PCV accessories, so there has been a good mix of both of them. So the transition was kind of subtle, even though I feel I do feel that I wish that she had some sort of fabric shirt going on here and this was not a thing that really bothers me but she's got a pretty face um the articulation is there she's still got the strong look so you've got the shoulder joints um the elbow joints and i think the wrist joints yeah there's wrist joints as well so um and then uh she also has um she also can sit and move her legs apart and then she has the knee joints as well um i don't think that they have ankle joints that's okay. Um, so yeah, this is Hawk Girl. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll put these wings back on. Yeah, she does really. She does really look good with those wings. They they they're really they stand really well. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And me and Blaze will see you in the next one, right, Blaze? Bye guys. Say bye, Blaze. Bye.